So keyboards. So it seems that my worlds are colliding even more than usual now that Moondrop, yes, that Moondrop, and of course Fio, yes, that Fio, is now coming up with keyboards. In all honesty, I'm still very new to this keyboard hobby, so I don't want to overextend myself too much, hence why I am here at uh, Mecca store. So I myself have a few opinions regarding these keyboards, but as per usual, I am not too knowledgeable as to pretend that I am a master in this hobby. So why not bring in some of my own colleagues at Mecca store to talk about these keyboards? Some of them you consider some absolute fucking nerds. Now let me introduce you to our first expert in quotation marks. <sighs> Pengo, here's the reference, the moon drop uh, keyboard, please give me your thoughts, criticisms, roasts, maybe praise. It's a bit of a reminiscent of the, if you're familiar with Dogot's Fusion, that's where they have that same little big old chonky top bezel, but it looks a bit too big, <laughs> I'm gonna be gone, the badge doesn't quite fit how it looks that little top angle just doesn't quite make sense let's just get the cat out of the bag clearly this thing has a 3.5 mm jack and a 4.4 mm balance and moondrop has a deck that has um that this is very clearly a moon river I, I, i'm not like leaking out any supposed secrets which is kind of nice i do like the fact that we finally have our first deck slash amp keyboard what, what do you think about the placement at the top left hand side the top left hand side i think makes sense in that it's the UFC port seems like it's going to be on the left as well. So I guess cables all coming on the left, it makes sense there. Instead of it being somewhere in, in the center, and then it kind of sticking out from like left or right, that's a bit awkward. For those new to the hobby, can you explain uh, mounting styles and why and this whole like top mount thing? Uh, yeah, yeah. Oh, I love this. Oh, great. Okay. So the mounting style, right? The thing. Thing that holds the thing in the keyboard, the plate go boing and or not. Mounting realistically is how the plate is, or PCB in this sense, is held in the case itself. If you look at the keyboard community for the past like what, one year, you see a, like everything's like, you see some gasket used a lot. The plate is just held between two materials. Like, oh, it's, it's, it's foam. Oh, it's an O-ring. Oh, it's something. Like, oh, it's my fucking cum sock. <laughs> So when Moondrop released this, when I read that it said top mount instead of a gasket, I, I good job, good job Moondrop. The fact that they decided to go with a top mount here, it makes me think someone there at Moondrop actually cares. And that makes me really happy. Okay, so Fio has also made a uh, new keyboard, which really came out of left field pretty much after Moondrop has announced their own keyboard. Uh, yes, please uh, react to this, Mr. Mr. Pango. Again, the top bezel is just really weird. But for this one, it makes I think it makes a bit more sense because the big knob really d breaks up like how empty the top looks. I think there's two screens there and a bunch of knobs. I can't really tell what's going on there because the photo is really bad. The big light bar looks really tacky, like something you like see from an, a, a certain other keyboard. Unlike the moon drop, they, they didn't tell us anything about mounting. They didn't tell us anything about what's going on here. It honestly looks like a render. Honestly, this doesn't strike me as really anything special. It looks like Fio tried to make a keyboard just because of the fuck they could. It doesn't look really inspired by anything. It looks like, to be honest, a gamer keyboard. Like something you, you see from Corsair, something that they see from Razer. It's way too early to say anything like conclusive about it. And I would, I want to see it. I, I, I want to type on it. I, I, I want to know more, but feel hasn't told us anything, so. so. In that case, what would you pay for the Moondrop keyboard and the Field keyboard, just based off of everything that you know right now? Depending on the deck used, what what do you, which deck do you think makes sense on this? Field has a shit ton of decks and amps. If they want to be super smart about it and they make this a Bluetooth keyboard, they could shove in a BTR5 into it. What is that? <laughs> Timmy, please put up the price of the BTR5. <laughs> Uh, yeah, if, if they made it a fully wireless keyboard, they could also make it a wireless deck and keyboard. So it's like a double double whammy. So Fio, if you're listening, uh, we are giving you literal free advice right now. This is a great idea if you want to differentiate yourself from Moondrop at least. Let's just do one more analysis on like what the potential price of the Moondrop is. The Moon River 2 is like... 
200 ish bucks so the keyboard would be at least 200 bucks and on top of that you have to factor in the actual cost of the keyboard itself so uh how much would you pay for this just for the fact that it has a moon river there and i can plug it i don't have to buy a separate fucking deck on amp like another stack on there just to just have this keyboard there the concept of that just really sells me really like at the very most i will pay 500 but also please Give bare bones kits. We we don't need the keycaps. It it, it, it looks kind of ugly. I, I I'm sorry, Moon Trump, but it looks kind of ugly. Mr. Francis, please sit down in front of me. <clears throat> if you don't already know, this is Boogie Boogie Man. He is a mod on my Discord server, and he is playing both sides of the coin, the audio file side as well as the keyboard side. So, uh, further introductions. It's a terrible waste of money. All right, so please react to, to react to Moondrop uh, keyboard. Okay, so I mean, I've heard of Moondrop. Not say I've heard of. I do know Moondrop because they, them and their weebery is far exceeds their the reputation of good IEMs. They're going to make this keyboard and they're going to stick a anime character on it. I am going to hate this a lot. I mean. Unlike most other people who I think have the sentiment of like, what the fuck are Moondrop doing? Why would they be doing this? Why can't they just stick to their audio roots and like not get into the keyboard thing? I personally think it's nice that they're trying to do something different from what most other people are trying to do. Honestly, what I feel like right is that it's a bit unpolished, a bit like the old customs of back in the day where they just like have crazy ideas. They stick everything together. The design isn't like refined. It doesn't look like, oh, look at this 3D CAD model that we do that looks really nice with rendering and all that. And it's like, no, we're just going to make a prototype, slap some shit on it. And it's like, here you go, pictures. Which honestly, they don't look too flattering because I mean, the keycaps are whatever. The the edges, it uh, still looks a little sharp on certain ends, especially near the top and near where the badge sits, like that area. So it's clearly very, very unrefined, very raw. For anyone to be trying to do a hybrid like deck and keyboard thing i would at least trust an audio company to do it rather than a keyboard company to do it would you trust a keyboard company to build a hybrid deck and keyboard or would you trust an audio company to build it i would rather trust the audio company to do it honestly the expertise is there the audio side is a bit more technical and it's a bit harder to design properly keyboards not to like dissuade or not to like put down keyboard designers it's in a sense simpler you can pick it up so if anything i like that moonjob is doing it i do support that i do hope to try it because it might not be great but that's the thing is that they just did it yeah they went ahead and they just did it anyway and the layout's actually not bad i i do kind of like this the 75 percent i do prefer this over the the compacted 75 so they they do have a general idea of what people like and what they want i can already foresee some comments being like oh you gotta add a knob to it bro you gotta you gotta add the big knob on it so that you know people can do the volume controls and whatever so that brings us to another point the fact that it's a DAC M hybrid and it doesn't have a volume knob just screams absolute stupidity to me. I like I don't sure if you agree. Yeah. You can do a knob. Why do you have a knob? You have a perfect placement, right? Yeah, it's right on the top right. Why is there no knob? Like, again, if it's like any other keyboard, sure. It's like, sure, don't have a knob. But it has a, it has a DAC M in it. Exactly. I mean, they have the entire space up there as well. Like, right above where the bat is. They have the entire space to do some more to it. So, they could, but why Why didn't they? I don't know. But, you know, it's their first attempt. We'll uh, give them a pass for it. But this is like genuine feedback, Moondrop. Please put on a goddamn volume knob. All right, let's move on to Fio. <laughs> With their very limited... This is literally it. Fio has had their competitor. So, they have entered the ring. Like, literally as a knee-jerk response to Moondrop, apparently. Might be a coincidence, but, you know, I, I suspect they just, they saw Moondrop and they're like, yo, we gotta get in on this. But, I mean, they probably had this working for quite a while already, just that they haven't actually gone forward to do it, because these look very clearly like very, very bad renders. It does remind me of the old terminal keyboards that people use at, you know, like the stock exchange trading floors and such. Instead of making it with like extra rows, extra F rows and other column keys, right? They just have a massive knob, the deck details that tells you what you're running, what codec you're running and all that shit. And some RGB equalizer thing. I have no idea what it is. The one glaring stupidest thing I can find that I see right now, right, is that bottom row is cursed and it's hideous and it's disgusting. What the fuck feel? It's a four and a half unit space bar. So for people who want to put your keycaps on it, good luck to you because you're never going to find anything. That's just my main first complaint because it just, the space bar looks way too small. Yes, yeah. 
it looks way too weird. So if you fix that, you might actually have a decent chance of having a decent like full size keyboard. No details on the mounting, no details on any other materials or whatever. It could be CNC aluminum as well because you know why the fuck not? It'll probably cost a bomb because of the amount of things you have to put on it. I mean, I really like that knob. It's huge. Yeah. It's nice and big. It's there's a little clear screen that tells you what you're playing. You know, are you playing in DCA, uh, PCM, DSD, whatever, whatever format you're playing in. I can't see the rest of the controls, but they look like mini EQ controls, like the quick, the quick and easy ones. Could be an interesting keyboard to have. Just uh, more glaring issues in this than the Moondrop one. Because at least the Moondrop one has a prototype. Because the ones you see in the Moondrop are actual prototype pictures. This is just... Yeah, it's like a hastily put together render that they made as a knee-jerk reaction to, to Moondrop. I'm sorry to say it, but it just seems like that. The macro pad makes more sense to me. But I mean, this would be really good for people who want to play Osu. Fio will finally win over the Osu community because you have your three, your three key keyboard. If they make it reprogrammable, this would be amazing. If it's their own firmware and it's a fix like play pause forward and back and a volume knob then that would be kind of shitty but i mean competition is good we like to see competition we want to see more so i i do like what Fio is doing but maybe not full size maybe like fix the bottom row um do a little better renders at least have a have a little more details for it then maybe we can have like a full proper comparison because right now it's just, i won't i won't want to jump the gun and say it's a bad keyboard but as you can tell from the bottom row it kind of looks weird and scuffed so they didn't really think much when they designed it yeah it really just makes it seem like just uh hey moon drop did one let's let's just show our hand right now and then it ends up being worse than what moon drop did it could be it very might likely might will be might will be <laughs> Yes, but I, I do look forward to both keyboards. Yeah, I, I don't know why, how this will go, but I, I do hope to see more. Especially the Chinese companies, because they have their own CNC machines, they have their own production facilities, and they do have the expertise. And you're kind of like mixing the two hobbies together, so you do bring in more people from I both ends of the spectrum as well. Like people who in keyboards who don't know anything about audio, they're like, oh, look, an audio company makes a keyboard. And if it actually turns out nice, people will buy it and they'll be like, oh, Audio actually might be a nice copy to like explore as well. And then you also have the other side of the story where people in audio are like, uh, all these keyboards, I don't really care about them. And then the moment your favorite like waifu making anime company decides to give you a nice keyboard, you're like, holy shit, keyboard with waifus. Yeah, you're bringing more people from both sides of the hobby or both hobbies. Any last words, I guess? Come to Mecca. <laughs> actually no, Moondrop, please give us one of your keyboards. We would like to really review it and feel you too, even though I just slammed like your entire keyboard design. Please send us a working prototype and we would love to review it. But otherwise, if you are an audiophile or you are a keyboardist and you would like to get new keyboards or audio products, wait, I'm not on critical.com. Never mind. if you'd like to get new keyboards, come to Mecca. If you'd like to get new audio products, look for this guy on his channel, don't ask me. So as per usual, see you next week and don't die. Fuck off. Thank you.